Hello and welcome to Techno Wrap. Intel has launched its 8th generation mainstream desktop processors. The launch includes 6 CPUs along with one motherboard chipset allowing improved VR experience for amazing gaming performance and better productivity. 6 cores 12 threads i7 processors, 6 cores 6 threads i5 processors, 4 cores 4 threads i3 processors. This is one of the most important Intel CPU launches in 10 years. For the first time since 2007, Intel is giving more than 4 cores on the consumer level desktop processors. At the bottom of the stack, you have the Intel Core i3-8100, a 4 core 4 thread CPU with no hyper threading, 3.6 GHz base clock and 65 Watt TDP. This comes with support of dual channel DDR4 just like all the CPUs in the lineup. But it will retail for just above $117. Bear in mind that the prices here are all the prices for buying bulk of CPUs. So expect retail prices to be more than these. Next up is the Core i3-8350K, a 4-core four 4-thread four CPU offering 6 megs of cache with 91 watt TDP. I think that i3 is gonna be sweet spot for some budget-oriented PC builders in near future. Because for the first time since the first generation of i3, you are getting 4 physical cores that is better productivity and better performance from the entry-level Core i3 processors. Also, the K version of i3 is unlocked for overclocking and is just $50 more expensive than the non-K version. Next is the Core i5-8400 processor, base and boost clock of 2.8 GHz and 4 GHz respectively. A 6-core and 6-thread CPU with 65 Watt TDP, DDR4 2666 MHz of memory is now officially supported by Intel's i5 and i7 processors. The i5-8600K is the unlocked 6-core and 6-thread 3.6 GHz base clock and 4.3 GHz turbo boost clock CPU with 95W TDP and 9MB cache. i5s were the popular processors among the previous generation because of its great price to performance ratio. So I am expecting the same for this generation. Now take a look at the two i7s. They are actually very similar. The i7-8700K and the i7-8700, they both have 6 cores and 12 threads. The unlocked processor has a base clock speed of 3.7 GHz with turbo clock speed of 4.7 GHz. The non-K chip has a factory clock speed of 3.2 GHz and boost speed of 4.6 GHz. Both the processors have an out-of-the-box all-core turbo speed of 4.3 GHz on all the 6 cores and 12 MB of Intel Smart Cache. If you are not going to overclock the chip, the i7-8700 may be worth looking at. But if you want hardcore performance and wants to get every ounce of gaming, you may have the K processor for about $55 more, which will easily run at 5 GHz with appropriate cooling. Now, part of the controversy if you guys aren't aware is that the Intel is sort of forcing users to upgrade or use the new Z370 motherboard with these 8th gen CPUs, while Intel is still using the same LGA 1151 socket and from that, we can tell has the exact same contact layout on the bottom of the CPU. Intel is claiming that these Z370 chipset brings about some changes to power delivery. That takes into account the additional cores and threads on these Coffee Lake CPUs. 40 PCI lanes, 16 direct to graphics card from CPU and 24 to the chipset and your other devices. That is the increase of 10 PCI lanes over 7th generation. Now after the explanation of Intel's new generation desktop processors and its new Z370 chipset, let's just focus on what Intel's calling the flagship $359 Core i7-8700K as its best gaming desktop processor ever. Who should buy this chip? Who should upgrade to this new chip? The answer is Anyone who wants the best gaming experience, the fastest frame rates, the smoothest performance, this CPU is for you. If you are looking for between 100 to 150 frames per second in almost any game with an appropriate graphics card, this CPU is that. If you want to do some video editing, video rendering or YouTube work, this would be an excellent CPU and great choice for doing so.